tend to have a lot of trouble at a lot of the longer stay hotels. Um, just for whatever reason, the people there are just seem to be on our radar a lot more. And hot on the Fort Wayne police radar, the Coliseum Inn, the scene of a double homicide on Christmas Eve, where two people were stabbed to death. I'm Tom Powell. Linda has the night off. The suspect says he came to town from out of state on Monday, the day before the crime. The man says he had nothing to do with the homicides at the Coliseum Inn, but police say they have evidence that suggests otherwise. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Jeff Newmeyer has this update. 30-year-old Pedro Salas Lopez is locked up in the Allen County Jail, facing two preliminary felony counts of aggravated battery and two counts of battery causing serious bodily injury. The coroner's office has ID'd the victims as 32-year-old Daniel Mendez Lopez and 26-year-old Alfonso Mendez Lopez. We got good people along with that out here. Tenant Kendra Lawrence said she awoke that night to find police and paramedics dealing with a violent scene. In an upstairs room, a fight erupted and two men who were attacked with a knife died. This photo from a surveillance camera showing a man on the balcony covered in blood was published by local media, generating tips that led police to Lopez, who was found at the rescue mission downtown on Christmas Day. He told officers he'd come to town from Kentucky December 23rd to start a job at a Mexican restaurant. He told police he was in a bathroom in the unit where the stabbing happened, that he came out to find the other two men fighting, and one of them had Lopez's knife. He said he left to do job hunting, never touched the men, and returned about an hour and a half later to find the men dead. Police said Lopez's story didn't add up on a lot of levels. And the fact Lopez, in the surveillance video, had blood on his clothes and at one point could be seen removing items from one of the victim's pockets were major red flags. He later changed his story, saying he'd gotten blood on him trying to break up the fight. When police pressed him on what happened to the knife, they say he stopped answering questions. This incident happened Christmas Eve at a time when a lot of these folks were preparing for or having Christmas gatherings. Of course, it was very unsettling. This woman was shaken by the crime. The fact the suspect is now in custody. Very it, relieved, very. Because, I mean, just the fact that he walked away from here and got away that quickly, you know, what does that say? Kind of puts a pit in your stomach not knowing. But they got on it. I've seen him and, you know, talked to him before. Lee Brown says the stabbing won't soon be forgotten. Everybody can go back to, you know, having some kind of peace and, you know, but as I'm pretty sure a lot of people out here is going to be on high alert now. Lopez is expected to face formal felony charges that could be more serious in nature early next week. Jeff Newmeyer, Fort Wayne's NBC. All right, thank you, Jeff. It's not clear right now if the victims were related to each other and whether they were also related to the suspect, Pedro Lopez.